I want to talk to you today about expecting. What do you expect? Now, we're going to watch a little video up on the screen, and then we're going to talk a little bit about that. But have a look at this video. It's pretty amazing. I saw that this this week and went, wow, not what I expected. Evan, there's been a lot of changes this offseason for your team. How do you feel your chances are in the AL East? Um, I mean, I love our chances. You know, it's been... Uh, it's been... Isn't that amazing? Did you see what happened? They're having an interview, and then during the interview, the, uh, the team is practicing, they hit the ball, and the ball is flying straight for the interviewer's head. And then the, the, the player, he just and catches the ball and saves her. Do you reckon she expected going into work that day, oh, someone's going to hit a baseball at my head? Do you reckon when the baseball's flying at her head, she's expecting, this guy here, he's just going to catch it and save my life? No, probably not. It's a bit bizarre, isn't it? It is bizarre. How, how, how should she expect those things to happen? In Esther today, we're continuing in the story of Esther. Now, you guys might not know where we're up to with Esther, so let me quickly recap. The people of God, in the story of Esther, a, a law has been made, meaning that in the future, in a couple of months, they're all going to get killed. And there's a guy there, his name's Haman, he hates them and he wants to see them all dead. Now, do you reckon they're ex they would have, would have been sitting at home expecting that one day they wake up and, oh, there's a law now that says we're all going to die in... 11 months. No, probably not. Now, it's going to be interesting to see today. I'm not going to give it away. You're going to have to listen as Mr. Firth uh, talks to us today. You're going to have to listen to the way that God works to save his people in this story. And it will be in a way that we don't expect. I reckon the people probably didn't expect it to happen. And it's a bit like us too. I reckon sometimes we sort of expect <laughs> we don't need saving. We can wake up this morning and we, we're pretty good. We're pretty good, eh? You reckon you're pretty good? I reckon I'm pretty good. But do you know that we need saving too? And God saves us in a way that we don't expect. He sent his son to take our place, to die for us. That was our whole Learn the Gospel uh, series, wasn't it? In an unexpected way, God saved us. And that's awesome. So I'm going to pray now, and then we're going to grab our kid sheets. Cool? Cool. All right, let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for the unexpected but exciting ways in which you work in this world. Thank you for how you have saved us, how you work to save your people, how you have saved us through Jesus. Let's pray that we would live our lives to uh, honour that and to bring you glory. Amen.